Hello, it's Nancy Westfall from the Colorful Cookie Club, and I'm going to show you how to print the printables that I have provided for you. I created a couple of PDFs using Silhouette Studio. You can see that here in the background. Um, I created one that has blue in case you want to print this on white paper. And I also created one that is white with dark outlines in case you wanted to print this on a colored piece of paper. And you can see the directions right down here. You need to print this off and place it in a sheet protector or put parchment paper over the top and then tape that parchment paper down so that you can pipe directly onto the sheet protector or the parchment if you don't have cookies to decorate or you would just like to practice um, on something other than a cookie. All right, so the PDFs are pretty easy. You just uh, open that file and click print on your printer. And then you can choose fit, shrink to fit, actual size. I usually uh, just leave it on actual size, but if you think it's looking too large for your paper, then go ahead and just click fit. I'm gonna click that and click print. And there you go, that's as easy as that. Now, for the other images, here's what you can do. I saved each one of these individually in case you wanted to print one of them instead of all of them. To print all of them, you are going to double click their snowflake one, two, three, four, and they are saved as PNG files. You're going to double click. And then it pops up, if you're on a Mac, it should pop up in preview. I'm not sure about a PC. But either way, this should work for you. Uh, in preview or whatever viewer your computer uses, you can go to file and print. And right now there's one huge snowflake on there, but all you need to do is come right down here to copies per page and I'm going to choose four. And you can see uh, now I have four on a page that will print. This is for those of you that want to practice on the same snowflake instead of, you know, all the options here. And you can also uh, click right here on scale. And if you want to make them larger, you can put in a different percent to make them larger and then just hit print and you'll have a printout of four of the same snowflakes. So let me show you that one more time. We'll do the second snowflake. I'll double click on that to pull it up in my uh, photo preview. And like I said, this is for a Mac on a PC. It's going to probably be different, but this part should be the same. When you click to print, you can again come right down here. You can choose six if you like, but it's going to put them really close together. So I would suggest four on a page. And then I'm going to scale these. Let's see what 50 does. Yeah, that's perfect. And I'll click print to print those. You can choose also when you do this, let me show you one more and I'll, <laughs> okay, so file, print. And if you don't want to print these in color, let me go ahead and change this to four. And I'm gonna scale these down a little bit so they're not touching. Cause knowing me, my hand would bump the royal icing uh, on the next one. So I'm gonna scale those down a little bit. You can choose right here if you want them in black and white or if you don't have color in your printer, you can choose black and white. Um, your settings may look different for your printer, but it ought to be fairly close. So you can also print in black and white if you prefer. And that's all there is to printing multiple snowflakes on one sheet of paper, or you can just print the PDF. Now here's, uh, let's see, I showed you the other PDF um, that is just white. If you double click on that when you receive this file, you can also, you can click right here on print. You can also come up here to, well, I already clicked it when I ran my cursor over it. Uh, again, we can do actual size or fit and just click print on that. And there you have multiple practice sheets instead of practicing on cookies. I hope this was helpful. And let me give you another tip. You can do this very same thing with clip art. If you find clip art that you like and you save it, you can actually make royal icing transfer sheets in the same way. And I believe there is a video on my YouTube channel of how to do that, or it could be in the um, Cookie-a-thon Facebook group in the spring 
2020 Cookie-a-thon video tutorials. And if you're wanting that video or interested in that, you can comment in the post below this or you can shoot me an email at nancy at thecolorfulcookie.com and I can direct you to that video as well.